So today we have come on the day two of RAI at Greater Noida and right now we are joined by Mr. Vineet Tyagi who is from Raison Solar. So all of those who do not know much about Raison Solar, so Raison Solar is one of the leading solar model manufacturer from the country and it has also plans to start solar cell manufacturing soon and uh, this is the only company which has sponsored two IPL teams, Gujarat Titans and Chennai Super Kings. So right now we will talk to Mr. Viniji and we'll try to understand the current plans of the solar module, module manufacturer. So currently, sir, what is the module manufacturing capacity of Raisin Solar and where the company has planned to take it to? What is it, its expansion plan now? Uh, thanks, uh, Saur, for this uh, opportunity, first of all. And as you rightly mentioned, uh, we have very aggressive plans. Uh, we are one of the premier uh, module manufacturing uh, manufacturers in India. And we started in 2017 uh, with a capacity of uh, 40 megawatt. And currently our installed capacity is uh, 4, uh, 4 gigawatt. And going forward, we are going to add a 3 gigawatt of capacity by December this year. Mm -hmm. So by the end of this year, we will be touching a figure of 7 gigawatt. So what will be your new capacity? Will it be Topcon based or the monopark? See, uh, the current capacity what we are having is compatible for both Monopark as well as for the Topcon. And further, what we are adding is further, it is again for Topcon and we have the capability to convert it into further into 210 G2L and currently we are doing M10 or also. So uh, this 7 gigawatt is fully compatible for both Monopark as well as for the Topcon. Plus we are adding another 5 gigawatt of capacity by uh, September next year. So that would be by the uh, uh, September uh, next year would be a 12 gigawatt of capacity we will have for module manufacturing alone. Plus we have further expansion plans for cell as well and uh, for which we are going to finalize land very soon. And that will see the day of the light maybe in the first quarter of 2026. That would be a 1.2 gigawatt of capacity. And we are further diversifying into uh, Aluminium also, right from the extrusion to the anodizing. That would be a 1500 million tons uh, per month capacity, mm -hmm. which will be operational by March 2025. So that is about raison. So we have very uh, aggressive plans in terms of the capacity expansion. We are updating ourselves in terms of the technology as well as the products. As I mentioned, we are having currently a range of 590, 580, and we are just showcasing in this 625 watt modules and further lined up with the whatever technology we are, it is compatible with HJT as well, the current line. So we are keeping in mind the further technologies which are going to come and we have expansion also in plan. Currently, do you have any plans to launch HJT? Uh, see, it depends on the uh, availability of the raw material in terms of the commercial also and if the market accepted, we are fully prepared for it. Our lines are compatible with it. Okay. So, in the last two, two years, the Chinese solar cell prices, solar model prices have been one of the lowest. So, do you think this will be maintained and uh, how you see the next six months? See, uh, if I see, uh, the module prices is primarily driven by the China only. Mm -hmm. Because we are, in India, we don't have much of the backward integration. Mm -hmm. So, even if we are having some module manufacturing units and some cell manufacturing units, mm -hmm. we, we don't have any wafer and silicon. So, everything is being controlled by China. Mm -hmm. So, if we look at a global demand and global capacity, mm -hmm. manufacturing capacity, the capacity is on a higher side. So, you can say it's a demand versus supply mismatch, mm -hmm. which is ultimately driving down the prices. So, I think going forward, the prices, if we see in terms of the capacity and the demand, would be stable. There won't be much of a difference in terms of the price highs or price low. So Raisin is the only company who has sponsored two IPL teams. Yeah. So what exactly changed after you sponsored two IPL teams? See, in terms of awareness or demand supply, your growth, popularity? See, uh, cricket is one of the sport which is very much popular across India. Mm -hmm. Every uh, You go to every village, I think Indian public is crazy about cricket. So we want to have a sort of branding where the Raison brand is being recognized by each and every individual, not only in India, across the world as well. So that brings us to uh, closer to this sport and that was the reason that we got associated with these two uh, champion teams, uh, Gujarat Titans and Chennai Super Kings. So right it, in, yeah. it gives us a lot of brand visibility and gave a confidence to our customers also. Yes, we are one of the companies who are associated with such a good brands also. 
So right now you have sponsored two IPL teams. Any plans to sponsor more IPL teams in the future? Let's see. Let's keep our cards close on that. Any plans to sponsor the Indian team? <laughs> Definitely would like to go, but uh, let us keep uh, keep our fingers crossed. So what is the future? Last question, what is the future plan now where the company wants to be in the next two or three years? Uh, as I mentioned, we are expanding our capacity. We are engineering into uh, aluminium, we are manufacturing, uh, venturing into the cell manufacturing plus the cell. And uh, on top of that, I would say we are keeping ourselves abreast of our to the technologies. Mm -hmm. Whatever new technologies are there, we are just adopting it in advance so that we are catching up, we are offering our customer the best of the product. A lot, a lot of solar companies told us at REI recently that a lot of them are eager to invest in US. They want to start up their own model manufacturing center in the United States, but a lot of them are waiting for the elections to complete. So what is your stand, what Raison is thinking about starting solar model manufacturing in US? Uh, in fact, I will tell you, uh, Raison was one of the first companies who got the land and the approvals. We got the Sage One approvals in US and we were the very first company to uh, launch a venture into US with module launch of uh, this uh, 500 megawatt module manufacturing unit over there. But because of, as you rightly mentioned, the elections are going on. We are waiting for certain policy. We are expecting certain policy changes, maybe after the change in government or whatever government comes. So things will depend entirely after the elections. But we are really fully really prepared for it. We have the space, we have the stage one approvals, and we are looking forward to it. So we can expect just after the election, reason can yes, take a decision. Yes. Everything depends on that, sir. Uh, and have you identified any land, any state for the solar cell manufacturing? Uh, yes, actually, uh, cell manufacturing is a bit different from the module many things. It has a uh, lot of chemicals are which are hazardous in nature and it requires more of water and certain uh, clearance uh, related to the pollutions mm -hmm. and land clearance are required for cell manufacturing, which is not required in case of the module manufacturing. So very soon, maybe this month, we are going to finalize the land. Most probably it will be uh, in Gujarat, Gujarat. Gujarat only. So so that uh, all our three units are nearby and it is easier for us to manage the things. Thanks a lot, Viniji, for talking to Sorin.